I was going to try not to, um, walk, but I don't think it's open to the public. I think the Boys and Girls Club is open only for the kids. Before they remodeled it, it was just for, uh, it was for everybody in the community. So now, it's only for, yeah, it's only for the kids. So, I don't think it's for the adults. Pick up your member. Okay, so. They redid the park, which I think is very nice, but it doesn't accommodate the adults. I mean, I understand you separating the kids from adults. Not whining about that. They did put a a nice hockey ring up. So I love it though. I think it gives the kids, you know, something to do. They also made a a walking path all the way around, which I think is beneficial. So I was gonna kinda come out here in the afternoons and walk a little bit. They gave us a outdoor gym. So you can see it from here. But the kids are over there kind of relaxing. So I want to go a little bit closer, but it's a little outdoor gym. So I'm not sure how to use it. And they put the artificial grass on it. And I guess this is this is for anyone to use. And then we have the sidewalk. And the sidewalk goes kind of all the way around. You have the kids playing on the basketball court. So this is pretty much their time. But I would like to come up here when people up here. So if something happens, you know, someone can see. So uh, I probably won't do too much walking today. I'm just kind of scoping it out because I normally don't come up in the afternoon. Um, they put benches for you to sit if you want to sit. A couple of inches, which I think are nice. And there's another one. Yeah, the water fountains. Oh. See, they did a good job updating over here. It took them a long time. It took a long time for them to um, and they even have it so that your dog or your pet can get some water. So, um, there's a middle school, so they separate the middle school from, and they built this area because at one point they allowed the gate to the middle school to be open, and you could go in and walk around the track, and it used to be just full of people in the afternoons like this, but it took them a while. This is relatively new. The sidewalk, all of this is new, and um, I'm grateful for it. So now if I want to walk in the afternoons, I'm just scoping it out, um, I can. I'm not sure how how many miles this is around, but it has to be at least two. So you can see it's a community full of kids, you see? And this is good. They need a place to um, stay out of trouble. So basically, if you live in this neighborhood and your children attend the middle school here or the elementary school over here, they are allowed to register and if they have room you pay and they can go to the boys and girls club so my grandkids they don't live on this side of town so they can't utilize it but there are lots of children in this community this is a it's it's the population on this side has literally exploded over the last five six years Tennis court is open. You can a lot of people come up here and they kind of skate. I used to come up and do a little bit, but not much. And uh, so it's free to the public. 
you have the basketball court the hockey ring is off off limits so right now guess what they locked it oh it's not locked i'm sorry so it's so usually you can come in and you can walk around it this it's for some reason oh the kids have knocked it and right there and it's can't get in so you have to go on the other side across on the other side and then come inside so so now i know where i'm going to walk at in the afternoons when i get off from work i have a new walking spot at first i wasn't going to come but now that i see um there's room for me i'm coming so I'm not worried about getting in, getting inside of the Boys and Girls Club. That's to keep the kids safe. And that's number one always. So. That's going to be part of my afternoon delight. Walking a couple of days a week up here. 